what's up, everybody? It's Mott's Cage Radio. Going to take it out to a Northern California fighter who'll be making his way into the 559 Four five five nine fights number seven, the NorCal Finals. Please welcome to the show, my man Jesse Henderson. Jesse, welcome to the show, my man. How are you? I'm good, man. How about the show? I'm damn good, my man. Uh, I see here that you are six and one. Uh, you're fighting out of my boy's gym, the bad man himself, uh, Big Dave Huckabee's next generation MMA. Uh, take me through it, my man. What's your style? I know, uh, I know the bad man likes to stand and bang. But uh, a lot of people don't know he's got some mad jujitsu skills. What is your style, my man? Oh, man, I like to stand up and bang myself. That's my style. I don't like too much messing with the ground. And I like to keep the fight standing up. You know, I feel more in control that way. Okay, fantastic. Now, I interviewed your opponent, uh, Isaiah Gonzalez, this morning. And he said he likes to stand and bang, too. So now I'm super excited that you two cats are going to stand in the middle of that cage and absolutely trade bombs. Is that what I'm going to be uh, looking forward to on October 27th? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? It might end early. Oh, it's like that, huh? That's what I'm talking about. So uh, no throw caution to the wind. You two guys are going to be throwing blows. Now take me through your training uh, a lot of the amateur guys obviously have uh, day jobs and whatnot. Uh, amateur MMA isn't paying your bills yet. So take me through it, my man. How many hours a day do you spend training? Oh, uh, man, I, I got a day job. You know, I work from uh, 6.30 to 2.30. And I get off, you know, I go running for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how I'm feeling that day. And, you know, I go into EPA boxing. I go so I get my boxing in. And then I go... And I get a little bit of jujitsu with my brother. And then I head down to Sac on the weekend and go train down there with Dave. You know, my trainers out there. I usually train about average four hours, three hours a day. Now, do you have a wrestling background at all, or uh, how long have you been training MMA? No, just tra- training MMA. I got a boxing background, and I, but I didn't start boxing until after I started MMA. You know, but uh. Yeah, I don't, no wrestling, no wrestling here. I just got natural abilities on the ground, just, you know, athletic abilities to get up out of a lot of stuff. Okay, fantastic. Now, what do you know about your opponent? What do I know about him? Yeah. Um, he's tall, uh, long, he throws a lot of kicks. And, you know, that's just about it, all I know about him. All right, so... Uh, so basically, uh, you, you get involved in this tournament. I know they lock you up for a couple of months and whatnot. How, how has it been uh, uh, being in the tournament? Is that something that's uh, been kind of stressful because you guys fight so often, or do you enjoy fighting that often? Oh, I enjoy fighting that often. I would actually like to fight more often, you know, I, I, at least twice a month. Wow, that's ex- that's exactly what your opponent told me today, that if he could, he'd fight every two weeks. So I'm yeah. I'm absolutely looking for fireworks in this uh, in this bout. You guys uh, sound like you both want to stand in that cage and trade. Now, uh, who will be in your corner for this one? John and, and my good partner Casey. Okay. So uh, this one's going to be fought at 135 pounds. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So, uh, what do you normally walk around at, and how much weight will you be cutting for this event? I normally walk around at about 140, 141. I don't cut too much weight. You know, I try and keep it within that range. Okay, so... You know, I was fighting at 45 once upon a time, but then I was going into the fight, and, you know, I was weighing in at 142, 141, and guys were coming in at 148, 147, barely cutting, making weight. So I just said, forget it. I just cut, lose a couple pounds and fire 35. And it seems like a better fit for me anyway, the better weight class. You know, I'm, I feel good, strong, you know, at that class. Okay. So how many more uh, amateur fights uh, will you uh, be participating in? Are you planning on turning pro sometime soon? Um, I don't plan on turning pro until I'm about 24, 25 years old. I would will- I would, I would like to have at least about 50 some fights, amateur fights, in MMA, and in boxing, I want about 100 and some, and then I'm going I'm to turn pro in that, you know, right after. Um, I, I want to build myself, you know, have a resume, a good resume, you know, and uh, so I'll be worth some money. Nice. 
Nice. Well, that sounds like uh, quite a plan, my man. It's going down on October 27th here in Tulare, California. If we wanted to get some tickets from you, how would we go about doing that? Um, you can come to, to, to Sacramento, you know, or they got the website, the 559 website. You know, I believe they got them on there. You can get them online and uh, tune in. Come on. All right. And my, my one last question for you before I let you go today, anybody you want to shout out? Uh, man, I want to shout out my whole family. I want to shout out my trainers, you know, God, and you know we coming. Outstanding. Well, I am definitely looking forward to this one. It sounds like you guys are going to throw the six-ounce gloves at one another's faces, and uh, I'll be looking for some fireworks. I appreciate you joining me on the show today, my man. We will see you on the scales October 27th in Tulare, California. See you there. All right, my man. Thanks again. No problem.